In this example, we're told about a study where researchers were trying to draw some sort of conclusions about the number of lies that students tell their mothers. 77 UVA students were asked to keep diaries of their conversation with moms and record any lies that are told. What we find is that on average there was half a lie told per conversation and we're asked to come up with a confidence interval for the average number of lies per conversation for the population of all such students. So here's our confidence interval formula. We already know x bar, we're just told it's 0 0.5. We know it's a sample of size 77 and we're told that the population has a standard deviation of 0 0.4. Uh, one slight oddity is the confidence level is kind of funny, it's 92.3 percent. But it doesn't really matter that much, we can just use Excel to tell us the corresponding z star that goes with this particular confidence level. Just remember the formula connecting the two is just z star equals minus norms env and then it's just 1 minus c divided by 2. Okay, so let's go ahead and find out what z star actually is in this particular case. So if we bring up Excel, uh, be careful with the parentheses, okay? Remember it's 1 minus uh, c, but convert it to decimal form, so 0 0.923 in this case. And we want parentheses around that because I want to divide all of that by 2, not just the 0.923 part. Okay, and we get one point, well, about 1.768, that should do. Well, now we're all set. Our confidence interval just looks like 0 0.5 plus or minus 1.768 times sigma, so 0 0.4 over the square root of n, square root of 77. And this is 0 0.5 plus or minus, the margin of error is this part here, and if we calculate that we get 0 0.0806, and if we do the, the plus and the minus part there, the lower limit is 0 0.4194, and the upper limit is 0 0.5806. Squeeze that in right at the end. And that'll do it.